Hi, it's Philo. Today I'm preparing for November in my bullet journal. Lately, I've been reading some gothic mystery romance and I wanted to create a theme around it, something that could remind me of Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights or Jamaica Inn. So rather than doodling, I wanted to play with layering, textures and realistic pictures. I'm starting with this white washi tape that could be a book spine and then I'm adding craft paper and a ripped page from a book. I had to include this scientific looking drawing of a pretty scary bird whose species is actually called Gracula with a G. Not all that scary in real life though, in fact it's rather beautiful, but the drawing still reminds me of The Birds by Daphne du Maurier. And I keep layering with this picture of an old book. And this skeleton washi tape I've been using everywhere lately, but it just fits the season. Then I printed three pictures from Unsplash. I will link the collection I made down below. By the way, as always, I will link everything I used in the description with all my affiliate links and discount codes. In Gothic Mysteries, you always have those desolate and menacing landscapes with naked trees, so I stamped those trees with white ink on black paper. And as the result is not really overwhelming, I'm going over it with my white gel pen. It takes some time, but it's still way easier than doodling it myself from scratch. In those books, it always seems to be fall and rainy, so I'm adding mushrooms. To properly pay tribute to these authors I admire so much, like Daphne du Maurier or the Bronte sisters, I'm stamping this Victorian silhouette and some other stamps from the same collection. Finally, I remember to add the header with white ink on black paper again and going over it with my white gel pen. Something still missing on this cover page, but I don't know it yet, so I'm starting with my memory spread on the left. And I'm starting with this dark painting of flowers, another recurring theme in Gothic literature. And as you can see on this spread at least I'm stamping the header as well as some gothic ornaments. And that's when I received these beautiful gothic windows as part of a gift from Easycraft Art and I had to include this one on my cover page. Ah, it's just the perfect finishing touch. Finally, I thought that I could include this gothic patterned washi tape on all of my spreads as the recurring element. So I'm just adding it to my memories page and we're done with this spread. Now with the monthly, I'm starting with my usual calendar, where each daily box is 4 dots by 4. Mm -hmm. 
This time I went with a dark and neutral color palette. I have my usual books I'm reading section as well as my social trackers. And now it's time to create some fun collages around and I'm starting with the gothic pattern washi tape on the left. And layering stickers, brown paper and eerie pictures of landscape or gothic architecture. Then I'm using the same stamps as on the cover page, but changing the inks and the combinations so that it's clearly the same theme, but it's not so repetitive. <laughs> After all this surprisingly fitting cameo of Sarah the Spider, we are back to our regularly scheduled program. So these stamps are from the Our Stories collection by Notebook Therapy and they have a matching set of washi tapes that I'm using right now on this spread. But I also use this collection quite a lot in my reading journal. I'm adding little mushrooms everywhere. And another washi tape from this set at the bottom, which perfectly fits the theme. And that's when I received, just in time, this stencil I ordered with a gothic font, so I'm using it immediately to write November with my white gel pen on black paper. And I absolutely love this font and how it stands out on black paper. Unfortunately, my white fine liner doesn't fit in the stencil, so I just had to copy the font manually. You know how I like to spice up my weeklies and try new things and I especially like Dutch doors but I've always done them vertically, cutting from the side. So I wanted to try horizontal Dutch doors, cutting from the top. The tip is not to cut right to the binding but rather leave a little bit of paper around. This way the binding still holds your pages together. Now the reason I wanted to do Dutch doors is that I wanted to include my trackers. It's been months since I've used trackers. I just didn't need them. I didn't work out anymore. I read every day so I don't really need a reading tracker. And I didn't have pets anymore. I used to have four mice so I needed to track some things like the cleaning of the cage and things like that. But now I've started working out again. <laughs> And I simply need to create new habits.
With this Dutch door, I keep my trackers inside at all times. Hopefully, it's a good balance between positive pressure and motivation. To adapt to this Dutch door, I also had to come up with new weekly layouts, which I appreciate because I don't like to do the same things all the time and get bored. On this weekly, I'm stamping everything from the dates to the days and the gothic ornaments at the bottom of the page. I'm using the washi tape as a divider between the trackers and the weekly. I also kept a space for a little collage, including book papers, twisted trees and mushrooms. Finally, I'm cutting those edges and preparing my to-do lists for each day. And it's time for the flip through. If you've made it till the end, comment with this emoji and your favorite gothic mystery or gothic romance. I'll share with you the four remaining weeklies next week, so make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when this video comes out. And until then, enjoy planning! <laughs>